Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Distill Brewery in, what is that? Nor <laughs> Normal, Illinois. So this is a fun logo from them and this is Touch of Haze, Hazy IPA, Mosaic Cascade. This is um, recommended from the shop person at GB's Bottle Shop. This is canned about a month ago. Yeah, distributed New England IPA, let's check it out. And from a much smaller brewery than like breweries like New Belgium, Sierra Nevada, blah, blah, blah. Love the black on black, right? You see it all black. Like, it's pretty dope. Except this part. So it's not a label, by the way. Like, I can't, even though, like, it's not printed all the way, I can't really peel it. But silver on the bottom, but black on black on black. I like it. Everything's black. That's cool. I like it. Uh, beer is quite light. Comes in a light gold color, almost slightly straw. Um, type of old fluffy white head. Yeah, not the best. I found this in the fridge, right? Yeah, recommend it off the fridge, out of the fridge. Pretty flat nose, I probably smell a little bit of that kind of oxidation. Cheers. Not much coming off the nose. Not in purest form, definitely off peak, or, you know, like peak is, and it goes like that, right? Um, falling off his peak, but not terrible. Very drinkable. No hot burn at all. Very light. Not much hop descriptor to talk about. Very drinkable. A little bit of wheat body in the wheat or oat body in there, probably, or just some really light malts. Hair bitterness on the back end. Yeah, I don't really get any notes of mosaic or cascade on this one. Mm. It's fine. It's a uh, very drinkable. That's a good thing about it, right? A lot of these uh, New England IPAs are nondescript and hop flavor and hop burning, slightly hop, slightly hop astringent, without really pure um, distinctive hop notes on it. This one for me is super drinkable. What is it sitting at? Seven three one. Wow. Yeah, full on IPA. Seven three and almost double IPA and is crush crushable. Not much like it's it's hoppy, but like, what is there to really describe? That's a little bit light, kind of that myrcene hop cream character. Yeah. Me just trying to run around, ding the bell, but. Yeah, it's just hoppy, smooth, New England IPA. If you taste a New England IPA, you know what it is. It's clean. It's in that, like, not super thick, chewy sense of New England IPA, but also not, like, big burn hop attack kind of thing. So it's just in that. Um, honestly, I wish more New England IPAs were like this. More local IPAs had this kind of, like, I guess probably they, I actually don't know, but they might use less pound per barrel on the dry hop. And... I mean, I think like a lot of local breweries are small, small, I mean, like small craft breweries want to make the style and just like push four to six pounds of dry hop per barrel and just get this hop or anything kind of going on. They probably have a centrifuge at the size of brewery, yeah, most likely, and they've found a way to not get that burny thing, but without the creamy smoothie, uh, smooth sweetness or that like, you know, that, that initial attack of doing one IPA. So. It's, it's some faint hint of like pineapple, grapefruit skin. Lightly menthol y, minty thing. You know, it's that New England hop thing, some round amount of it, but not, least, not noticeably distinctly um, mosaic. So, yeah. But you got it fresher. Maybe this is how the beer tastes. Uh, it's shipped down here, so who knows? So uh, this for me gets a solid 87. B plus, super drinkable, but not to where my palate is on like really awesome, awesome New England IPA. So if you're looking for something that's like super crushable and reminds you of New England IPA, this does a good job. Until next time guys, cheers. This is Touch of Haze from Distill. Until next time guys, cheers. Later.